I had a great Monday. The UH football team's 38 to 20 blowout of Washington State earned some all-conference recognition for a pair of Warriors. Let's start things off with quarterback Greg Alexander, who was named the WAX Offensive Player of the Week. The senior gunsling slinger threw for a career high 453 yards and three touchdowns, helping UH rack up 626 yards of total offense. Meanwhile, Castle grad Corey Paredes was picked as the WAX Defensive Player of the Week after forcing two fumbles and recording eight tackles with a sack. And Hawaii is not done on the road just yet. The Warriors landed in Vegas yesterday for the second half of their road trip. But despite the Vegas lifestyle, this is no pleasure trip for Hawaii. UH is staying in a hotel an hour off the Vegas Strip and will have an entire week to prepare a game plan for UNLV. You know, you know we're not going to look at it like this. It's a business trip. You know, we know on the road it's a lot harder. We're just going to take it day by day and just get ready for UNLV. Because there are so many things to do in Las Vegas. Uh, if I let them out the doors, uh, there's all kinds of things out there. So it's just better to keep focused and stay where we're at and get ready to play ball. And of course, if you want more Warrior coverage, then leave it right here. The Coach Mac Show is coming up right after this broadcast. After his effort against Washington State Saturday, Warriors quarterback Greg Alexander named WAC Offensive Player of the Week today. 26 of 36, career high 453 yards and three touchdowns for Hawaii's senior QB, getting an offense that turned out 626 yards of total offense. You know, look at all the yards and things like that. It's all on the receivers getting the yards after the catch. You know, I just did my job, got the ball in their hands, and, uh, you know, they made all the big plays for us. We executed a lot better. And, uh, you know, they're giving us a lot of man to man. And, you know, the line was giving us a ton of time. And, uh, you know, the receivers are getting good separation. So, it's, you know, get the ball to them in a place where they can catch them up. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. UH football team defeated the Cougars 38-20. A lot of their win a direct result of coming up with seven turnovers. So, for making eight tackles with a sack and two forced fumbles in the first start of his career, Warriors linebacker Corey Paredes named WAC Defensive Player of the Week today. Um, I feel awesome. Um, it was a well-deserved win by our team. You know, all things goes to the defense and the coaches because without them, we couldn't, couldn't make the plays and stuff. The coaches put us in the right spots and we should make the plays. It was my, it was my first start, but I, I played on special teams and that, that gave me the confidence to play and the, the trust that the coaches put in, in me they gave me confidence to play. Hawaii is 2-0. Oh. I remember they stayed on the road. The team is in Las Vegas to play UNLV on Saturday night. They just won their first road game against the BCS opponent, but the University of Hawaii football team is done celebrating. Right now, UH is in Las Vegas preparing for their upcoming game against the Rebels of UNLV, but the Warriors have some nice momentum after their 38-20 win over Washington State on Saturday. The offense compiled over 600 total yards in the victory, and the defense shut the Cougars down early and often. Head coach Greg McMackin couldn't be more pleased with the progression of his team so far. Well, we were uh, very pleased. Uh, you know, we started fast, and I was proud of my uh, players and coaches. And and uh, we played, uh, you know, we, we're getting better as a team and played better as a team. Now, Saturday's game against UNLV will be the 19th meeting between the two schools. Hawaii leads the overall series 12-6. UH won the last game 49-14 in September of 2007. Speaking of the Warriors, quarterback Greg Alexander is named WAC Offensive Player of the Week. The senior threw for a career-high 453 yards in Hawaii's last win over the Cougars. He also threw three touchdowns in the victory. The Warriors piled up a total of 626 yards of total offense in the win. On the other side of the ball, Castle High grad Corey Paredes, the number 41 there, is named Conference Defensive Player of the Week. The Kaneohe native led Hawaii with eight tackles, six of them solo, plus he forced two fumbles and one sack in the win, and he did all of this in his first career start. The Hawaii defense also forced seven turnovers in the victory. 